This is Jim White with Inspire Recording Arts. This video will show you how to use Sidechain using a synthesizer pad sound and a kick drum from Ultrabeat. The synth sound will pulse each time the kick drum hits. Sidechaining, which is also called ducking, is an audio technique using compression to lower or attenuate the volume of one audio signal when another signal reaches a prescribed volume. In other words, the volume of one signal forces another signal to get softer. This is the technique used that you often hear in dance music where there is a pulsing in the music to emphasize the beat and the kick drum. We're going to be using Logic Pro X. To do this, first of all, I'm going to create a new document. I'm going to use a software instrument. I'm going to use two different ones. One is the synth pad and one will be ultra beat. I'll create these. You can see I have the classic electric piano in both. This is the default for Logic. So I'm going to click on the first one, and I'm going to change this to a synthesizer. You can choose any one, but for the sake of uh, this particular demo, I'm going to use the ES2 synthesizer. But I'm going to go to one of their presets and go to Synth Strings and do this Cosmic Strings Dark. You can use any sound that you want that holds consistent. Once that sound has been chosen, I can close this down. I'm going to use compression as the device to cause the ducking or the side chaining. What I do is I'll go into this effects, audio effects. I'll choose dynamics, go down to compression, and open up this particular device. You can learn on another video how to use each one of these things, such as threshold ratio, make up several other things that occur here. You'll see I'll change a few of them in a minute to emphasize the ducking that's going to take place. But for now, I can close this down. Then I'm going to go ahead and go to my second electric piano, the classic that is the default. I'll close the window here from the library. It gives me a little more space to work with. From there, I'm going to change this sound, and I'm going to use Ultra Beat for this, the drum synth. Step Sequencer. If you haven't used this, it's a pretty nice sequencer to create drum beats on, though it has some limitations as well. I'm going to go to a thing called Full View. Down here I'll choose an empty sequence, and then I'm just going to create a basic 4 on the floor. That means every beat gets a kick drum. I'll play the sound here. You'll know what I'm doing here in just a minute when I've created those beats. Now you can see beat 1, 2, three, four, through eight. Turn it on, hit play, and it creates the sound. That's what's going to be pulsing the synthesizer. I can then drag this into that track, close my window, pull this to the beginning so that it just continually pulses. Notice it's two measures long. I'm just going to create a loop that's two measures long. This is plenty to demo what I'm doing. I'm going to go back to my dark strings. I'm going to choose the editor for MIDI. And then I'm going to choose a note, and I can just play on the piano roll. I'm going to go a little higher, C2, so that you can hear the tone and hear it drag through. I'm then going to hit Command, creates my pencil, and I can draw the note in. This one's a little longer than what I need. So I can drag this back as far as I need to. Two measures. Now if I just play both of them at the same time, bring the kick up a little bit, the other down, so you'll hear both pulsing. At the moment there is no side chaining. I've turned the compressor on. Now I'm going to go back to the side chain, choose it here, and now I'm going to tell what instrument I want to actually have do the side chaining. I'll go to instrument. Instrument one is the synthesizer. Instrument two is my kick drum. Now I've connected the two. Without an explanation, I'm just going to back off threshold and increase the ratio so that you can hear the pulsing that takes place. Now if I rewind and hit, you'll hear the synthesizer, the strings, pulse. Without the compression, it just sustains. 
with the compression side chain. As I change my tempo, it will impact the same thing. This is a very common technique used to emphasize the pulse in dance music, but can also be used in a lot of other ways that I want to emphasize a kick or a particular pulse of a song uh, where that's necessary. Again, side chaining, also called ducking, and this was uh, Jim White with Inspire Recording Arts.